Boy Infinite, we here in the dirty water, aka Water Bay, with my man Mike Chuck. See low, and see low. Gonna do a little Q and A with him, and at the end, my man Mike gonna do the uh, spitting, so you can check out his style and skills. All right, man. So I want you to let everybody know a little bit about yourself and what y'all do up here. My name is Mike Chuck. Been rapping for about four years now. You know, just fucking anything. Doing the thing right here, we'll get four years in the game. Want everybody to know out there, check out the mixtape, Mike Check Resuscitation on MySpace.com. Any feedback, you guys can email us. Anything else? Um, you know, any other boys? Renegades is a, the name of the record label. That's how we do it. What's your um, www.myspace.com backslash Mike Checks. Same thing? Same thing. Oh, Mike Check. What's the science behind your name? What's the meaning behind that? Well, my, my real name's Mike, so I just wanted to keep it real simple. Come so up with my name. So everybody, I figured everybody can remember that. Right. So who are some of the people that you came up listening to that inspired you to want to do this? My biggest inspiration is at the Eminem. By him. The biggest white rapper. I'm white, so definitely influenced me a lot. Tupac, definitely. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm in Tupac. Now, I don't know if everybody knows this, but there's a difference between an MC and a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Most times, MCs keep it real with the uh, culture of hip hop. Which one do you consider yourself? Uh, it really depends. Right now, I feel like um, probably more rapping. Right now, just be making a lot of music that is more meaningful to myself. Like trying to express myself. My MC stuff does come out with my music, but not as much as my rap will be in the Now, uh, in your music, if there is any, what's the message you want people to take away from your eyes? Yeah. When you trying to convey to your fans, your potential fans? It's not all about killing people. It's more meaningful. It's like... I can explain myself, all my life experiences through my music. Like it has, it's not all about guns and all that. My style's not that really that gangster. Like I try and keep it like really like real about myself. Now, what's your favorite producers? some of your favorite producers, and if that producer could produce a track for you, that's already in the game. Who would you want it to be and why? Either Dr. Dre or Eminem, because they're just nasty at making beats. I feel like that that those the, their style of producing is definitely like my style. Like I could probably just get on their beat and just like come up with the lyrics really fast. Kill it, right? kill it exactly. Just kill that shit. On that same page. But on the, on the flip side of it, if you could be on a uh, track with somebody who's already in the game, or maybe not even in the game, who would it be and why? I would love to do a track with Tupac, but I don't think that would happen, but either the Tupac or Eminem and why? Um, so what is it about them that just wants you to be on a track with them? The lyrics, like they moved me. I was just love to get out of song. Um, 
Alright, today's hip hop. It's hip hop scene. Some people think it's weak, some people think it's alright. What do you think about it and where it's going? Right, well, the past year I think it, it definitely has fell off a little bit. But I think it's coming back now though. For artists like Eminem dropping his two CDs. A lot of other people coming out. Dre got something coming out. Tupac's supposed to have one more album coming out. I think it's definitely going to come back now. Yeah, definitely. All right, seeing you keep mentioning Eminem all the time, what's the difference, if there is any, between your music and Eminem's music? It might make you stand out. Say if y'all drop an album at the same time. Will make one people want to draw towards your album, buying your album, than Eminem's album. Because you might get there one day, and that might happen. So what's going to make you want people, you know, people want to buy your album over his? Well, you definitely inspired me. So like our like our styles could be a little bit similar, but we don't. I feel like I wouldn't rap a lot about the same stuff. Like I let I rap about where I came from. Which is totally different from where he came from. So I would rap about completely different things. Than him. My, my rhyme scheme would probably be a lot different. What about your selection of beats and you know, things of that nature? Because I mean, yeah, it is a lyrical, but it's also going to get people with the one pump in their heart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The beats. So how's that, diff how's that going to differ from Eminem's? Beats would probably, I don't know, I'd probably, I would definitely not do that corny ass first single shit he does. I would definitely stay away from that. I don't know. Definitely getting some more serious, more serious beats. Alright. Now, say you get put on in the game and you make it. Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? Ten years from now, I would like to be in the studio making music, whether it's mine or my, or someone else's. Like make producing for somebody else, making beats, maybe on a record label. draw them towards you and stuff like that. Go with confidence. You want me to stand up and do it? However you feel comfortable, man. This is about you. Mic check, blessed with skill, dressed to kill, best perfect skill to take effect. Your speakers direct you in the direction quick. I'm lyrically sick, you catch something, I'm the cause of it. Ain't no pill you can pop to pause and shit, just applause and sit. Y'all infected, time for your checkup, but I don't mean the physical. You think you're fed up, cause after this you gon' be miserable. I'm a sick and twisted individual, quick lifted, invincible, gifted MC with the visible energy and capable be divisible by any enemy. Syllables I got plenty. The capacity of my mind is never empty. I don't flick you with audacity if you taunt and tempt me. I'm a convict through the loss of society heart and exempt me. Alright, there you go. Your boy Mike Chex representing the dirty water, aka Waterbury, Brass City, doing his thing up in here. You wanna say anything about your shirts and stuff like that you got for sale? <laughs> yeah, we got Ed Hardy. Preston Archer, low prices. Prada's, coaches, Gucci, anything. Why? All right, now. Get at him. If that sounds like something you want to get at, get him on his MySpace. MySpace one more time. MySpace.com backslash M I C C H E C K S. All right, there you go. It's a wrap. That's it. Another segment of GTV. Jim Jones, 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 Jim J